Welcome back to Jero Dynamics. Okay, all right, I get to open some magic again. I haven't done that in a, a minute. All right, we have a new set coming out. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the product yesterday, so I, I was able to pick it up today. So my videos are coming a little later than normal, but hey, hey, here we are. Let's go ahead and open the pre-release kit to start. I didn't get to actually do a pre-release um, yet. Probably not at all this weekend, unfortunately. Uh, but I, I did get to pick up a couple pre-release kits, so let's see what see what would happen. All right. Yeah, I've been missing doing pre-releases for a while now, unfortunately. Playing in general, I haven't gotten to play a lot of Magic recently. That's unfortunate. But I will. I will be getting back to it. Um, let's see here. We've got our usual. We got a couple of dividers that you could use. A couple of little tokens, little little, little pop out like counters or tokens or with the Frixia symbol. All right, yeah, you know, the usual, the usual, as it's been the last couple of sets. All right, let's go. I think there is a possibility of like special spin downs in these. I did not get one of them. I just got the the regular spin down. Let's see here. I think they're coming in different colors at least again though, so let's see. Oh oh look at that. Look at my green screen kind of showing up there when I when I did that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> alright. So not the special spin down. Let's see what I got for a oh alright, I'll take this as my pre-release promo. Jace, the perfected mind, I, I will take that. Um, you know, there's some different variants. Obviously, pre-release promo variants aren't uh, aren't that special these days. But uh, I do like it when it's a legendary creature or a planeswalker. Um, and then if I ever build the uh, um, the mill deck in Commander, I'll probably play this guy in there and, and use this version of it. So that's kind of cool. All right. Decent promo, though. Mythic. Hey. Wait, is it? Yeah, it's one of the Mythics. All right. So let's go ahead and see what else we got in here. We got another little divider and then your little rule book insert kind of tell you what to do if you've never done pre-release before. Um, going to your first pre-release can be a little daunting, but hopefully you had some friends of yours that uh, that helped you out. Uh, my first pre-release um, was actually a two-headed giant, so I really had someone helping me out. Um, and, uh, and I ended up, it was the uh, Oath of the Gate, ga Oath of the Gatewatch pre-release was my first pre-release. Pre and, um, you know, I'd come back to Magic during battle uh, for Zendikar, but I didn't make it back in time for the pre-release for uh, battle. But I did do the pre-release for Oath. And, uh, and at that pre-release, Two-Headed Giant, I opened a pre-release kit that had two Ob Obnixilis Reignited. Um, which is kind of interesting because if you remember, uh, that is actually a Battle for Zendikar card. And so you got four of the Oath packs, two of the Battle for Zendikar packs. So both of my Battle for Zendikar packs in that pre-release kit had a uh, Obnixilis reignited in it. So that was kind of kind of a fun little coincidence. And uh, I built around it, obviously. And uh, yeah, had a, uh, had a really good time um, playing at that pre-release, my first pre-release. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see how my setup is. I wanted to do this before opening a, you know, the collector box or something. It's looking pretty good. All right, all right, all right, all right. Lost the focus there on that one. Let's see here. Let's get the focus back. Come on. Yeah. Okay. That was the uh, infectious inquiry. Let's see. All right. Malicator's Watch. Vanish into Eternity is the... Uh, the new kind of similar to Path to Exile, kind of, but not really. Complete Devotion. Dross Skull Bomb. Tyrannax Atrocity. Uh, first Phryxian Dinosaur. <laughs> the Dross Pits. So a dual land. So, or wait, no, these aren't dual lands. These are, they enter the battlefield tapped, which is not good. Uh, they just give you black, not black or green. And then Sacrifice and Draw Card. Yeah, eh. Guess it's a. It would. It might actually make it the uh, the cut in in a pre-release deck. Get some draw in there, and 
you know. I could see, uh, so my, uh, this is actually, you know, the uh, flag pole or whatever they want to call it, letting you know to maybe look at going green-red and building around this guy. Acre plate golem. Unnatural restoration. Oh, all right. Full art. Razor Verge Thicket. So I have the expeditions of these, so I won't be um, trying to collect the full arts, but it is cool to get a full art. That's nice. I like the art, too. Um, if it had been in my pre-release kit, I'd be like kind of, eh, it'd be okay. Um, you know, especially if I did decide to go green-white, but it's not exactly the rares you want to pull in, in pre-release. And then planes, the Phryxian planes. My token is the Rebel token. All right, first pack. First pack tells me that I probably uh, want to consider going um, red green. Maybe splash some white in there since I have that land. Uh, I have the Tyranix Atrocity, um, which would definitely play in it. Possibly the Unnatural Restoration. Forge Hammer Centurion is, is an option. And Oil Gorger Troll would be if I was looking at red green. So let's keep going, see what else we got. So far, I I I highly see that's the thing. I would I would actually really consider doing because like mill works really good in limited. Um, you know, when people's decks are smaller and that sort of thing. So I would actually really consider, you know, building around that Jace if the rest of the packs um, allowed for it. Which so far they have not. What's this do? Chant creature when mesmerizing dose enters the battlefield. Tap enchanted creature then proliferate. Enchanted creature does not untap during its controller's untap step. So it's one of those freeze ones here. That's where I see this. Leonin Lightbringer. Maze Mantle. Volt Charge. The New Dancer. Surgical Skull Bomb. Brixian Atlas. A lot of people are really excited about this art. It's, it, it is pretty cool. Let you know what the, the realm of New... The plane of New Phryxia kind of looks like. It's kind of weird. Incubation Sack. Ooh. Bladed Ambassador. A Void Wing Hybrid. Toxic. When you proliferate, proliferate. I'm having trouble saying that today. <laughs> Return Void Wing Hybrid from your graveyard to your hand. Blue Black. So, possibly going Blue Black and playing Jace. All right. All right. Oh, oh, goodness me. Yeah, yeah. I, I think at this point I would have it in my head if I was building. I'd be like, all right, blue black. Blue black's looking pretty good. Jace, and then having this guy out. Yeah. And then Volshock Splitter. A swamp. A uh, Phryxianized swamp. And then the poison counter. Very cool. Yeah, I, I, I would definitely be uh, considering it at this point. All right. What about you? What would you be doing if you were opening this pre-release kit? Would you be excited? Would you be happy with your two mythic blue poles? <laughs> Pestilent Siphoner. And if you're concerned about value, you kind of got it, I think. I think with those two cards, you're probably you're probably doing pretty well on your pre-release kit. Itaxian and Anatomist, Duelist of the Oh, come on, my camera, Duelist of the Deep Faith. All right, it does not want to focus on that. Let's go. Oil Gorger Troll, Forge Hammer Centurion. Both of those were in the first pack. That was in the first pack, too. 
autonomous furnace. So that's the common version of that, uh, or the red version of that common land cycle. Mere Kinsmith, Axiom Engraver, and then now the Dross Pits. Against all odds, in that blue black deck, I could see probably playing those those uh, those Dross Pits. Get a little extra card draw. Try to get to the Gauntlet and the Jace. Resistance Skywarden, Apostle of Invasion. Ooh. All right. I don't. Yeah. I mean, it it's in the right colors, but I don't know if I would play it in limited. But look at that guy. Kur Kurumanix, Kerumanix, 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 the Rat King. So it's Toxic One. Other rats you control have Toxic One. I would have to see if there's other rats in here. I don't. I don't know that there are. When he enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal any number of rat cards from among them. Put the put the revealed cards into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Yeah, I'm leaning towards no. I would not play that, but yeah, you know, I mean, three drop, three, three with Toxic. And then uh, a completely Frexianized, Frexianized Swamp with the Frexian language there. That's pretty sweet. I'm enjoying that a lot. I'm definitely going to build a Frexian deck and then a Frexian Horror to go with it. But, you know, so is everybody else, so... I'll probably hold off on that for a while. All right, that was a fun pack. Predation Steward. Shrapnel Slinger. Twelve minutes. I'll probably just open the packs. I probably won't like really go into it too much. Singing Hive Master, Eye of Malicator, Incisors gl Glider, Sky Sith Engulfer. I may consider doing like a separate video where I actually build the deck. That might be interesting. Chimney Rabble, the Dross Pits. Maybe quite a shorter one. A bone picker scourge, like a shorter video where I just kind of go over what, you know, if I had really like sat down and looked at it, what would I have done? Uh, serum snare, churning reservoir, vat of rebirth. Oh, okay, all right. Ovika Enigma Goliath. Splashing red to get this guy out. Let's see. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create X11 red Phryxian goblin creature tokens where X is the amount of value of that spell. They gain haste until end of turn. I would have to see how many um, non-creature spells I'd want to play. Because this is a beater all by itself, um, but getting up to it is, is a little rough. Uh, Phryxian Forest. And then a rebel token. All right, all right. Here, let's move those off off camera there. Try not to have the uh, camera get all wonky on me. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Make it stretch out the videos a little bit more. Make a video where I. Because I have two pre-release kits, so maybe make a video where I make the decks or go over the decks I would have built from both of the pre-release kits. So maybe not just the one. That that might be for a more interesting video. Hmm. All right. Vivisurgeon Insight. Crawling Chorus. Predation Steward, Shrapnel Slinger, 
Cruel Grimnark. Eye of Malicator. Axiom Engraver. Maze Skull Bomb. Quicksilver Fisher. The Fair Basilica. Expand the Sphere. Exuberant Fuel Fuseling. Ambulator Edifice. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I would have to say that uh, this is a good pre-release kit. <laughs> uh, I, I, I made my value back. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not foil, but that, that's a bad mommy right there. Bad, bad mommy. All right. <laughs> I am satisfied. And then a, uh, the blue... All right, so blue Frixian land to go in my blue black deck, and then Frixian Beast token. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna have to consider that. Take a look at that and see if that's something I'd want to squeeze in that deck too. Jeez. Oh, one more pack. Even <laughs> I'm not even done yet. One more pack, and then we will end this video. But yeah, I think I will go ahead and uh, and do a uh, video. Uh, I'm gonna do another video where I open the other pre-release kit. Well, actually, I'm going to reach out to uh, to my friends and see if they're doing a pre-release event next weekend, um, you know, or if I, you know, should save it. And if if I don't save it, then I'll go ahead and open it on stream, or not stream, but, well, I mean, I'm looking at possibly streaming, but we'll see. Anyways, I'll make a video about it, opening it, and then I'll make a video where I build both of the decks. Or not build them, but kind of go over what I did when building them, because I think... Building the decks might take too long in a video, but I could go over what I, you know, what the pulls were and maybe kind of what my thought process was for, you know, building the decks in the way that I did. Now, keep in mind, I would say I'm a mid, mid-tier um, pre-release sealed player. Um, I, um, I have won a couple of pre-release events. But I'm usually right in the middle of the pack. Not usually at the bottom, but on occasion, you know, on occasion. But, uh, yeah, I would say <laughs> I'm definitely no pro player. Incubation sack. Oh, nice. Norn. Norn's Wellspring. Another white. And then Plains. All right, everybody. Uh, yeah, poison counter token. That was that was some nice pulls. I am very happy with uh, with that pre-release kit. That was definitely worth the purchase. Um, it's a good start to the collection. Um, I usually open um, uh, set boxes to build my collections now, and so this. But this is a good start to it. The other pre-release kit definitely moving in the right direction to build these uh, to build to complete these sets. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good day.